Hello and welcome to Hamster on Rails. Let's continue from where we left off last time and uh, see if I can figure things out. We don't really have all that many levels left in the game. And uh, these last ones are turning out to be quite complex. The Queen's Pearl Necklace. And uh, that's where it is. And... Uh, the person we need to take it to is here. There's our ore and there's our key and... Uh, and... Uh, somewhere is our exit. Here. Obviously needs to go like that. And then we've got some choices here as to how we want to do things. This is where we're starting from. And once again, it's a place where... Where we can have several different routes. Once we've accomplished everything, we'll have to go this way. So are we going to use like one of these here? Is that the yes, that is the correct one? So are we like going to use one of these here? And then just, you know, turn it around so that we go straight when we need to go here. I'm going to assume, at least for now, that that is what we are going to do. just going to go straight over here like that and then over here we need to Thank you. 
and then like this maybe We do have a lot of bars as well though. And we need to figure out how to deal with them. So obviously since this is the way up and down Are we going to turn this way first as we come down here? Or this way? Because can we like... Make a loop around the whole thing? We can. So like here we go one way and then as we come back we go we come back the other way. Well, whichever way it's going to be, this needs to be like this. And then probably No, actually, we can't. We'll figure this thing and this thing out later. But this is how these are going to need to be in any case. Or maybe not. No, they do need to be that way, I think. Okay, let's see. Maybe like this one here. Are we just going to go up like this here? Maybe. And then over here, we're, we're going to need like one of these or something. Hmm, yeah, probably. And then like, like that. accidentally do I did something didn't I uh, can't tell oh well that's going to have to be like that we can put buttons here Here we've got some room for um, buttons too. And here. Yeah, we've got a lot of room for buttons here. So that kind of makes me think we probably go this way first. And then we can have like a button here or something
well, somewhere, anyways. Although we do have this height difference to deal with as well. So maybe we don't have all that much room for buttons here anyway. Hmm. Here though, there's no height difference, so this is very probably one of the places where we do um, want to put at least one button. Um, if we go this way first, yeah, it's the same over here as it is on the other side. We need to deal with um, a height difference and we also need to open these bars. So actually, I don't know which way we'd go first. Or like, you know, which way we, um, make the loop here. Do we go right or do we go left? There's a bit of a height difference here and here too. So, these probably go like this, right? Like... At least at the moment I don't see any viable alternatives. And then... This probably goes... Like that. And um... Do we put like one of these over here? Probably, right? And then we just need to like turn it any way we need to. Yeah. There's probably going to be one of those down over there and then like that. These rooms could be places for buttons as well. Like say there could be a... No, but this is where the door is. If there was a button here, that would get pushed three times. No, that wouldn't work because we need to exit the room here. Hmm. Yeah. Well, um... And then obviously it's the same kind of thing in this room here as well. So we'll have to see about that actually. There are bars on this and this way here though. So yeah, hmm. We do need to have buttons on this floor as well. Well, we, we do have a lot of buttons. And on this floor, we can't make a loop. Because the exit is here, so obviously you can't loop around. So this is where we turn back, 
but like, do we put the turning back point over here? Or over... probably over here. So that we can put a lever here. Right? And that lever can then be... Um, used only once. So that if something needs to be turned an odd number of times, we can accomplish that by putting a lever here. Um, over here. Goes like that. And then... Then what? And these are good places for buttons that get... No, actually, these buttons would get pushed four times though, wouldn't they? Because, um... Two times as we go and get the ore and then... Um, another two times. Yeah. So, we'll see how this is going to go. But, like, oops. Obviously, that needs to be like that. Um... And this is probably where we use this one, right? Make a loop here where the ore is. Which way does this go? That way. Um, so it doesn't work there. Am I going to have to change? Which way does this go? This goes the other way. So this would work here. We could go get the ore. And then if we put this here, because we're going to have to turn this anyway. So we may as well start with this, oh, may as well start with this like this. And then we turn it once like this. Okay. Right. So that needs to be turned once only. And that can be accomplished by putting a lever, where was it, that we have the, uh, over here. So we put the lever here, and then this is going to turn the, uh, this, so that when we come back this way, we can get to the exit. And over here, it's probably going to just be straightforward like this. At the moment, at least, I don't see a reason why not. Because when we come over here, the only thing we need to do at that point is get to the exit. We don't need to worry about any doors or levers at that point anymore. Right, so we've got some of this figured out. But as uh, for the rest of it, there's still a lot. So we turn this way, 
at first. And that makes it pretty clear that we need to have buttons to deal with these bars in this room. There's only two bars, so that's easy enough to do. Yeah. We can just uh, go like that. And then we can have a button here to deal with these. Right? So we get through there. And then we need to deal with three bars over here. Let's see how we can accomplish that. So... We could have a button here that gets pushed once. And then a button somewhere else. Like... Um... Where would we have a button that gets pushed twice? So we come through here. And we probably go straight here. Do we want to Turn this way here. And then turn this way here. Then we could put a button here. I have no idea if we're going to have the tiles to make this work. Does it... Would it be better to turn over here? No. So we'd go this way. I have no idea if we can actually use this many tiles here. And then... We need to have another straight bit here in order to be able to push the button a second time. And then we can go like... here. We'll see if it's actually plausible to use that many buttons in this room. If it isn't, then I need to rework how to do things over here. But for now, we could have things this way. So we get through there, and then we've got a doorway that is open here. Is it going to be open by the time we get there? No, because we need to open this door. And opening this door closes this one. Unless we open it some other way. Find another door that affects it. This one only seems to affect the doors on this side. So, is it? It probably is, so that, um, yep, 
yeah, the doors on each side kind of only affect the doors on that side. And then, like, these two down here affect each other as well as the doors on, on like, that side of the castle here. So... This affects all three... No, all four... Yeah, all three of the doors on this side plus this one. And then... This affects all three, and so does this. So... Yeah. This one is going to be closed when we get to it no matter what, isn't it? Because we need to open this. So... Where do we put the button? Let's put the button like right here, at least for now, to open that door. And then... We need to open this door over here. Hmm. Do we want this to be like a pretty straightforward one as well? Or do we want to... This is a good place to have a button that uh, removes two or like opens two bars from somewhere and then uh, obviously we could have the door opening button here right so it opens that and then it recloses these um So then we go through to here. And do we want to do the whole loop thing down here um, at that point? Or do we want to go here first? And uh, uh, we've got this person here, so that kind of tells me that we need to go here after we've done this loop, because um, this is where the necklace is. Right, so as we go through here, we'll want to go here and do this loop thing here, or go here and get the ore. Hmm. Let's see. Do we want to have this this way to begin with? I don't... No, over here we actually do only go to each place only once. Right? So, um, we can totally have levers here that only get operated once. So we could actually turn this once while we're down here. And um, then as we come up from here, we could go get the ore. Oh, that would only need to be turned once though again. And uh, I don't really have a place here where we can make that happen. where I can make that happen here. 
No, I, I don't think I can. So I'm just going to do this here for now. Um, right. So... about that so it's this way to begin with do we want to turn it three times while we're down there to have it this way so we go to the hamster and then um, We'd have to turn it three times to be able to go here. No, I think we only turn it once while we're down there. And then we need to somehow make this be in such a way that we can go there so it needs to be turned once but um hmm or do we go back down there do we turn this twice while we're up there and then we go back down here if we turn it once while we're down here it'll be this way again hmm. so let's see turn it once we can get the ore turn it twice we go down there again but this would kind of have to remain this way for us to then be able to go there. Hmm. Because if we turn it once while we're down there, it'll be this way again. Yeah, that just doesn't... no. Mm -mm. It doesn't work. So how do I make it work? Mm. If we turn it three times while we're down there to get this to be like this and then we go give the uh, thing. Turning this twice would mean that we can't go anywhere. Yeah, it would have to be turned three times, which would only be possible by using this, but then this has to be turned only once. Can we make it so that this can be turned more than once or like, um, like twice and it'll still do what we want it to do? I don't think so, right? That's the only way. Hmm. Is this... No, this is another one of these. It isn't one of these. Okay, so this is the same kind of one as the one we have over here. I was like, if this was a different one from, from this, but no, it's the same. The same one. 
So I guess, did we only have one of these to begin with and two of these? There's one down here and then one where we begin from of these and then I've got I've got this one down here but I don't think I've got any of those anywhere else at least I can't remember putting any anywhere else so yeah can we make the ore thing work with the other kind of Because if we put this here, then it's fine to turn this two times to get to the end. And then that will enable us to uh, use this lever here on this. And that'll solve this problem. So like, um, we can turn this once while we're down there to get here. And then, hold on. Um, no, um, we can turn it three times while we're down there to get here. And then we can turn it another three times while we're there to get up here and then when we're up here one two oh okay turning it twice wouldn't be a good idea hmm We'd have to turn it three times again to get us to go back there. actually keep it this way turn it three times while we're down there to get it this way so we can go there then we don't turn it at all um but we turn it one two three times no we don't want that because then our journey will end here Ugh. Um, yeah, this is, hmm, So do we ever want to go straight here? Like, uh, do we want to have this here or do we want to have one of these there instead? Would that make a difference? Or do we want to go get the ore first and then go down here? That way we could have it this way to begin with because What if we then turn it twice? Yeah, then we get down here. 
and then this is already in place for us to get up here right by turning it twice when we're there and then um when we're up here we need to get it so that from up here we go this way so one just once and we can do it by having this one affect that so yeah I think that's the answer we have it this way to begin with we start by getting the ore and then we turn it twice while we're there so we put a lever like gum like here or something and then as we don't need to turn this at all while we're down here we can actually put this here just like we had it and we can put how many times do we need to turn it to once so we can put a lever down there to turn this once right so um this one turns that yeah that'll work good and then down here somewhere we're going to have a lever that turns this and this way we can have this here and it'll be simple for us to get the ore So we just need one lever that'll get turned once down here. Let's just already put it somewhere so I don't forget. This. To affect that. Yeah. So now this will work up here actually I do need to still figure out the bars on this door how many are there three one two three um we do go down here before we go there so we can possibly put some buttons down here to uh, open these because at least in this room I don't think we can put a button that gets pushed three times we can have a button that gets pushed twice but um hmm yeah I don't think we can have one that gets pushed three times because we the door is here so yeah Maybe we can have a button somewhere down here that does that. Right, so 
so that's kind of this this floor figured out like that we'll see if I need to make any modifications here or if we can have it like this so downstairs Well, that needs to be like that. On this side, we've got some more choice as to how we want it to be. So, do I want to do this just like this? Or do I want to do something else here? We've got bars here that we need to deal with. is how this is going to go on this side going to need these two on this side here right yes I am so I can't do anything fancy with these there also I've got just enough of these to use in here So this has got to go here or here. Which one do I want? The door is over there. So it's kind of all the way on this. I think I want it over here, don't I? So that, oh, but it does come that close to the door. I was thinking I'd like turn, put a button here, but no, it, it does come so close to the door there that um, I can't really do that. here though could I have a no I can't have a button here because it's either here or here that I need to have the ramp yeah I can't have the ramp here <laughs> that's too bad Oh, 
do I get through these bars? I do still have plenty of buttons, but I do want to save as many of them as I can for operating the doors, obviously. Or do I? Do I really need all that many buttons for operating the doors? Um, let's see. So, um... This door down here is going to be closed as we come to it. Because, um... Opening this door is going to close it. And uh, opening this door is going to close this door. Right. Um. What if we... No, but then we'd have to turn this three times, and we've only got one lever. So, like, um, if we had it this way to begin with. And we've only got one lever to use on this. So, turning it three times is really not an option. So, we kind of have to go this way first, and then turn this once so that we can climb up this way uh, once we're done with the loop so this is the way we go first and uh, we have to figure out the bars down here so do we put like one button here that gets pushed. Do we put one? No, that'll only get pushed once because you can't push a button as you're going downhill. So if we put one here, it'll get pushed once. And then really tight though we can't really make any turns or anything here so I'd have to use three buttons I think on these bars Wow what about in this room in this room I can actually put a button here to deal with all three of these and that's great oh I'm going to run out of these pieces though yes I am so obviously that's not an option I've got plenty of buttons but I don't have plenty of these so uh, maybe I am just going to have to use many buttons to deal with the bars feels like such a waste to me but uh, I think that's the way it'll have to be I think I'm going to have to make it as straightforward as I can in order for uh, these pieces that I've got here to be enough. Yeah. So like, um, if I need more of these turning pieces, I could make this more straightforward as well and just use more buttons to deal with these bars. But uh, we'll see. So, how many of these do I, like, really need here? That's pretty unavoidable, that's gotta be there.
Just, you know... I think that's it. So we have two extra ones of these. So we could make a bit of a... A bit of a thing. Somewhere. To deal with the bars. But only two extras though. That's not very many. Let's just see... Like, uh, actually complete the loop here. And, uh, yeah, I've got a few extra of these, these pieces as well. Maybe I do have to just use more buttons here. It's only one more button. Yeah, that would get me... Plenty of these pieces back. And, uh... I'm just going to see if... If this can even... work because like we as I said we've got plenty of buttons but we've also got plenty of bars and doors as well right so over here thanks to the height difference it looked like there was plenty of room, but thanks to the height difference, it is actually a pretty tight one. So I think I am probably going to have to use three buttons to deal with this. In this room though, now that we have extra ones of these, um, I could maybe do a little something, so I don't have to use quite as many. Buttons. Like, I could do a thing like this. Here. And, uh, put a button there. Yeah, there's three bars there. Okay. So, let's see. Do we have enough buttons if I have to do it like this? So, uh... Oh, are we going... No, that one's straight. It's not any kind of an incline. One. Two. That's those bars dealt with. Um, then this door is going to be closed. And I'll have to open it. But... I want the button that opens it to be pushed only once, obviously, because if it gets pushed twice, then it'll close it again. Uh, there's a space here, where it'll only get pushed once, so I'm going to put it there. And I am going to need...
this door open? When I go back through here to get to the exit. Let's see, what does this door affect? It does actually, does it affect that one? Uh, it does. Okay, it also affects this one. Right, so opening this door here is going to open that and it'll close this and it'll close this. Um, and then opening this will close that, but then opening this, this one here will also open that one. So I could open um, that door by opening this one. That also affects this door. Ah, oh, my poor head. Um... Right, so, um... Do we just open this by... by affecting this one here? one open and um, opening this doesn't matter that it'll close this but it'll close this here and open this I think that's fine so, we'll put a button like there to open that. And then we go through here and we get the necklace. And we've got another three, two bars to deal with. Uh, we can grab the necklace and push a button, I think. Oh, actually, there's a place here too. So I'm going to put this here and that'll deal with those two. And then we can do a bit of a thing here. We can have a button like right here to deal with these bars. So, turn, turn, in that way and in that way. And then one, two, three. And then this button will open these. So that's those bars dealt with. Now somewhere we need to have a lever. 
that turns this. We can put it like over here. So that turn that. And then we're faced with a door that I think is going to be open because I think opening yeah it's going to be open because opening this will also open that right so we get through there and then we've got three bars to deal with and that'll be that any more of the extra turning pieces so I think I'm just going to use two buttons one here and one let's say there and this to affect these there are three right yeah and this to affect it as well okay and now we've got two buttons left to deal with the doors here so uh what will be the state of them i've completely forgotten So obviously this will be open as we go down here because we have to go through it. So the state of these doors as we go down there, this will be open and uh, uh, this will be closed and then we open this. Right, because this is closed and this is closed. So that'll open that and close that. And then we open this, which will... Open... Yeah, this won't affect. one. Did I think this through properly? Because, I mean, opening this one is going to close. No, it's going to close this one. Right, right, right. So it'll close that and open that. That's fine. That's fine. So. Uh. is going to be closed and that is going to be open as we come through here I think so we put a button somewhere to affect this door because this is going to be closed as well so we put a button somewhere to affect it uh, where do we have, oh, we've got a lever in the space that we only go to once. Huh. Well, that'll be a bit of an... So we come from here to here, right? 
like um down there up there yes okay um so we don't really have a spot that we only go to once Meaning that we'll have to put this button somewhere down here. If we do that, will it be fine? one so it won't be open anymore so no it's not going to be fine but we are going to have one extra button open that one maybe by a bit no, this door also affects that one. Oh. This is... This is... A bit complicated. As it turns out... button to affect this door that'll only get pushed once and we need it as we come from here here because we need this one open um, also have I dealt with these bars no I haven't oops so that's Probably what the extra button is going to be for. Dealing with those. We could put it like right here. To have these dealt with. So now we've only got one button left. But here's the thing. We do have a space here that we could put a button into that'll get pushed two times. So. Do we need... No, we don't. Well, no, because it'll still only get pushed twice. Yeah, so it won't actually free up a button from here. button for again oh that one yeah
Oh, we've got a space here. No, but that'll get pushed four times then and that's no good. I was just thinking, like, uh, about freeing up one of these buttons. Before we go down there... Yeah, we've only got one space here. What's this one? Oh yeah, because that needs to be turned twice. Okay, okay. Yeah. And anyway, that's a space that we are going to go into, um, or like, um, it can't have a button in it that'll only get pushed twice, is what I'm trying to say here. Um, but here's the thing. We've got one extra of those. What if we put it here and, um, that there? Oh. Oh, it's because it went to the bottom. I was like, what? We can't put anything there? But yeah, we totally can. So that can be done like that. And then... Mm, if we put... Say... Um, we can free up this one entirely. And we can just put one of these buttons... Over... Here. And so that will get pushed twice. And uh, here we go. So yeah, that's now got two buttons linked to it. And uh, we still have that one extra button. Um. Let me just, um, maybe pause the game here and figure these buttons out. Because this situation... Where was it again? This situation here turned out a little... Um... Trickier than I thought. So, uh, like, if we put a button somewhere down here, that'll open this back up again after, after opening this one has closed it, then, um, Then that one will need opening. And that's the only like negative thing that's going to happen. Yeah. That one will need opening. And we could do it by... Um... Just opening it is going to close this again. But it'll only close that. It won't close the, uh, this one. 
but then I only have these two buttons. Yeah, opening this will also open that. And then opening this will uh, close it again and that's the problem. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure this button thing out. Um, and um, I'll pause the recording while I do, and then resume once I have it figured out. So, um, just a moment. I think I have it figured out. So, instead of this button, um, being um, tied to this door, I need to tie it to this one instead. So, um, now there shouldn't be any buttons tied to this door specifically, but uh, this button is going to affect it, but um, it won't affect um, these doors. So, as I open this by closing this, so affecting this door instead of this one, that'll cause these ones to remain as they are. This one open and uh, this one closed. And then I need to open this so um, I will affect it again using this button here. So these will return to this state. So this one will be open and this one will be closed. And um, if I then put somewhere down here, a button that will open this door. Um, it'll also close this one. So, um, I go and open this and uh, give the necklace. And then we go over here. That'll be open. And then, um, let's see, <laughs> how do these buttons, I think, uh, by the time we get here, this will be open, because, which button, this button? So I think this button, as we go through this door, this button will close this and open open um, this. And then we don't have any more like uh, buttons that affect any doors in between here. So this should remain open. So we go through. This one will be closed, but we are going to have at our disposal a button. So we can put it here and open it. So I'm going to try this like this and see if it works. I hope it does. Let's try it. Hopefully everything is the way 
It needs to be here at the start. So, open. And then the bars. And these bars. And these bars. And open the door. Get the um, four. And uh, open door. Open bars. Get the necklace. Open these. works. So that's open. And now these bars. Give the necklace. reset that here but uh, it doesn't matter that should open this yep and then the uh work because these affect these bars so they always affect ones that we already have behind us 
Okay, good, good. For a while there, I was worried that we're going to close the bars in front of us. But, uh, no. The only thing we did was uh, close the bars behind us. And that's fine. And now we're through. So, um, yeah, that took some figuring out, but I'm really glad it worked. In the next episode, we're going to hopefully grab this final treasure here. The final treasure of the game, actually. We only have this level and the next one. Um, left of the game. And uh, this one looks quite complicated as well. So I'm hoping I can figure it out. But we'll see in the next episode. For now. Thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.